Okay, uh, this is the second part of the tabletop one. This time I'm going to draw something a bit more complex. Board, 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 one. And, 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 and the new part, studio. All right, we'll start a sketch on the top plane. Uh, I can turn off all the views. Uh, we're going to start with a rectangle, and I think the size of those chess board pieces was uh, 33. So let's click dimension this up using the dimension tool, 33, and this one would also be 33. So we make a square at 33. Uh, that's the end of that sketch. Let's extrude this. So we're going to extrude this to a thickness of 19, excuse me, 19 millimeters. All right, now we need uh, chess boards are 16 by, uh, sorry, eight by eight squares. So we're gonna use the transform button again to copy squares. So entities to transform or copy, We'll start with that square. We'll go X, Y, Z. Uh, let's just start with the X. What was the size of that square? It's 33, so we move it by 33. Don't forget to tick, copy, part, and tick. Uh, we're going to transform again. This time, we're going to transform both of them. X, Y, Z. Last time we did the X, this time we're going to do the Y. Uh, by 33 millimeters and there's our there's four of our parts now before I go any further um, part one and part I'm going to try and highlight opposite parts so part one and part four so click one and four and right click edit appearance uh, we'll do this as the light color and tick and part two and part three will edit that edit appearance as a dark color uh, that'll do. Right, let's transform again so we can only go one direction at a time but we'll select all so we've got our four parts, X, Y, Z. We'll start with the X. So we've got one, two. So we're talking in the X direction, which I think is this way. So there's two. So we can actually type 33 times two. Press enter and we get that and make sure we copy part. All right, so far we've got a one, two, three, four by two. We need to make it an eight by eight. So let's go in the X direction again. So we'll highlight those, click transform or transform, then highlight uh, X, Y, Z. So we've got one, two, three, four this time. So it's gonna be 33 times four. Press enter, have a look at it. That looks right and copy. All right, that's our eight in the X direction, now we need to go in the Y direction. So we're going to transform again. This may seem a little bit tedious, but imagine drawing each one, one at a time. So we're now going in the Y direction. We've got one, two in the Y direction. So it's going to be 33 times two. Press enter just to double check and that looks right and copy. Looks like one more time. Transform. This time we highlight all of that by X, Y, Z. In the Y direction, it's 33 times. One, two, three, four. Press Enter to double check and copy. And that looks okay. So there's our chessboard. But we need to cut a circle larger than this. So we, like we will do in the classroom, we actually have to glue sides onto this so that's what we draw now so i'm going to start a new sketch do you remember before we use the top plane i'm going to use the top plane again 
I know we can't see it, but you can still select it over here. And I'm going to click end so we view it front on. And we're going to grab the rectangle tool and we're going to draw a rectangle that encompasses our chessboard. So from outside corner to outside corner. Then we're going to draw another rectangle that's larger. Way out here. Don't be too concerned by the size yet. And then we're going to grab the line tool. Because when we glue the sides on here, we're going to use mitre corners. So it makes it neater and tidier. Now, the only thing we have to concern ourselves with is the size of these boards that will glue on the sides. If you don't see it yet, you will shortly. So we click on the edge of the uh, chessboard. To the line and we we would use 90 mil boards because that's what we that's a standard size so we're just going to go around the object and set it, them all at 90 mil away from the edge of that chessboard done just close that sketch. I'm going to go back to a 3D view and we're going to extrude. So we're going to use the extrude button. Uh, we can't do all four at once because it'll try and make one piece, but we will actually want separate pieces because it's going to look better. So click that shape, then click the shape that's opposite it. It should be set on new. We need to change the thickness to 19, and that's it. We tick. What that just does then is hide that sketch. So we actually have to re-enable that sketch because we've got to do one more extrusion. So turn it back on, then extrude. This time we'll do these opposite pieces uh, to a thickness of 19. I have to make sure it's set at new. Uh, they should be the new parts right at the bottom of this list. I'm just going to, um, oh, we can turn that sketch off. I'm just going to set the color. Uh, it'll just make it look a bit better. So I think 65 and 66 are the opposites. So I'm going to edit appearance for those two parts. Uh, let's, let's make it obvious that a blue color will do. Now part 67, 68, edit appearance, will make those the same color, uh, slightly different to the other color. Well, that looks ugly, but there we go. We've got two opposite colors, two opposite colors. All right, similar to before, sketch, we'll click one of these top surfaces, doesn't matter which one, just click one, go to N. We need the circle tool. Where's the center of this circle going to be? It's going to be right in the center of the chessboard. So let's start our circle in the center, drag it out. We use the dimension tool to make it 420 millimeters. Enter. That's it. We'll close that sketch. I'm going to go back to a 3D view. Do you remember what happened before? The extrude comes next. So we're going to select the circle. And it's weird, it's broken that circle into two parts there. So we actually have to select twice to make sure we encompass that whole circle we've drawn. If you remember, we've got to do an intersect. And we merge with all. The grayed out areas will become offcuts and there's our tabletop. We, of course, can put a fillet around the outside edges. So we click the edges. We can set the size, tick. Sometimes a fillet on the bottom edge looks good as well. Except I'm going to have to orbit my view. But I would do a small fillet.
And there you go. Tabletop's done.